Hey guys, this is Snowy and welcome to a little tutorial I made for you guys for everybody who wants to reinstall City Skylines but keeping the mods, keeping the assets and keeping all your settings without breaking a sweat. How about that? Huh? That would be nice, would it? Yes. So. Um, I had to deal with this myself because my computer was uh, definitely in need for a reinstall and uh, I noticed that my Windows installation after four years said to me like Mah, do it yourself so okay so I bought another SSD for uh, for a fresh installation of Windows and I was already thinking about oh no you know City Skylines, all my assets, all my mods, oh no, I don't want that, you know. I was so afraid, for example, you are seeing now a fragment of my uh, um, city I'm building, Nova Assembler. And um, yeah, the thing is, after some searching and after some digging, I uh, figured it out how things worked. And it worked, yes. And I'm going to share this now with you. So I'm going out of this. This is just YouTube playing, so I click this away. Uh, this is the Steam Workshop, even you don't need to be in the Steam Workshop. Now, okay, uh, what you have to do is only the following. Now, let's get out of here. Uh, well, here you see already, uh, copy this stuff. Uh, wait a second, copy this stuff, this is better readable. Okay, now these maps have to be copied. Yeah? You have like all these apps and your mods and all your settings uh, in your existing game and you need to copy these all these maps you need to copy them to another drive or USB stick or to your grandmother's uh, floppy disk I don't know <laughs> anyway uh, copy the, these maps yeah now some people uh, say to me like uh, I cannot find this map okay I will show you if you go to your um, you know uh, user map you know, C, uh, C Windows, Users, and then I'm Snowy, and you, you say like, oh, where is uh, where is App Data? It's not to be found. Well, you can just type in here above, you know, enter, or I mean a uh, uh, arrow to the right, you do a slash and you type in App Data. You see, and then you are into that map, and then you go to local and you go to colossal order and you copy this map just to an external drive that's it uh, also you do the same with this and you see this number over here if there is another map present with uh, another number I had another number there like 244 or something uh, or whatever copy that as well to be sure yeah and also copy the entire well game basically which is sitting in this uh, map called uh, steam apps common city skylines okay once you have done that reinstall your windows completely reinstall don't care about uh, the the installation that is present on your windows uh, uh, c drive and i assume that you are playing this game from your c drive because your c drive is probably an ssd um, preferably an, an M.2 SSD with uh, with a large page file, so you can make use of uh, of, uh, of that fast speed hmm, for its uh, virtual memory if you are low on memory. And once you've done that, you go back into Steam. You just reinstall the uh, the game like you normally would do. Just reinstall it, and then okay, when you're done, you just go out of this place, and then copy all the stuff back exactly to the same maps as I've shown here and once you've done that you install the game then Steam is checking out all the files it will be verifying all your stuff that may take about 10 minutes 15 minutes and after that everything is ready and set and you can play your game so if you have uh, any questions left uh, guys then uh, feel free to ask them and um, yeah, this is the uh, ideal uh, method of um, um, make a copy uh, of your city skylines, all your mods and all your assets and everything. I uploaded my maps again, they were even local available because I saved them also local. 
and you can also save them online on the Steam Workshop and in both cases they were present and I could just start just freshly over again. Ok guys, if you have any questions feel free, leave them in the comments and if you um, encounter any other problems please let me know and I will try to answer your questions. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. See you! Bye bye!